Exercise 2.50 Four coplanar forces act on a beam. The forces FB and FC are vertical. The vector sum of the forces is zero. The magnitudes FB equals 10 kN and FC equals 5 kN. Determine the magnitudes of FA and FD. Okay, so. First, as always, solve the exercise. Second, explain what was needed for me to solve it. First. Uh, you have to write down the information that the exercise is given to us, okay? The, basically, the statements. The first statement is that FP and FC are vertical. Vertical. The second statement is that the summatory between all forces is equal to zero. The third statement is that FB, or at least the magnitude, is equal to 10 kilonewtons. And FC is equal to 5 kilonewtons. And finally, the exercise is asking for the magnitudes of FA and FD. Now, uh, we have all the statements. Next step to analyze the diagram. So, um, FB and FC are both of them vertical. FD does not have any other component, which tells me that FD is horizontal. And finally, FA has an angle with respect to the x-axis, which I'm going to draw at this moment. Okay, with respect to the x-axis, we have a 30 degrees angle. Now, third step. You have to make sure that all forces are being applied to a specific axis. As you can see, in the case of FB and FC, is simple. Well, actually, in the case of FD as well. Why is that? Because all three are being applied um, within a specific direction. And that direction corresponds to either X or Y. Okay? So FD is being applied to the X direction, FB and FC are being applied to the Y direction. In the case of FA, since we have an angle, we have to determine the two components. Okay, Every single one of the forces has two components when we are talking about a 2D uh, problem. The first component is given by the x direction and it is going to be the magnitude of the force, in this case FA, multiplied by the cosine of the angle. Okay, why the cosine? Right here we have 30 degrees, okay, which corresponds to this 30 degrees. Since we have right here 30 degrees, I can assume that this is a right triangle. Okay, which means that we are talking about one and two catheters and the hypotenuse. Okay, Pythagoras. Now, this catheters is going to be adjacent to the angle, which means that I'm going to use the uh, cosine of the angle. Remember, the cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent part of the triangle divided by the, hip the hypotenuse. Okay, so right here we have the hypotenuse and um, right here we have the, the cosine of the angle, which means that I'm determining the adjacent part of the triangle. Now, 
Therefore, I'm going to talk about the FA sine of 30, which is the opposite part of the triangle. It is being called the positive, the, the opposite, I'm sorry, because, uh, well, it is the opposite part of the right triangle. So, it is basically the same, the same stuff that I just mentioned before, but using the sine of the angle. And that's it. We have everything within either X or Y. Which means that we can do a summatory of forces. So, summatory of forces along the x-axis. First and last name. This is pretty important, guys. Why? Why is that? Because for when someone else wants to read your math, uh, he or she is going to verify your point of view. For example, I could have said that this is not going to be positive, but negative, and it is still correct. What is important is you have to keep your point of reference along all the exercise. It is usually normal that the point of um, reference is the one that I just mentioned before. All that is pointing towards this direction, positive. All that is pointing towards this direction, positive as well. On the other hand, we have the negative. Which is the opposite. Now, summatorial forces along the x-axis equals zero. Why am I saying that this is equal to zero? Because of this statement. Summatorial forces equal zero. I don't really care if I, if it's talking about the total force because the total force refers to the X and Y component. So I can say that if I'm talking about the summatorial forces, the total force, which is X and Y, I can say that both of them has to be equal to be uh, to, to zero. Now, which forces are being applied along the X axis? The FA cosine of 30, which is the, co the, the component for the FA force, so FA cosine of 30, and the FD force, minus FD. Sorry. So material forces along the y-axis equals zero. Once again, first and last name. We just have to use um, FC minus FB plus FA sine of 30. This is equal to zero. We already have FB and FC. We need FA and FD. So we have this and we don't have either this nor this we do have this and this why am i counting how many nouns i have because it is necessary or it is actually mandatory for you to have the exact same of equations than unknowns okay for you to solve an exercise, you have to have at least the same amount of equations um, than the unknowns. So, basically, we have, let me see, we don't have FA and we don't have FD, so right there we have two unknowns. But we do have FB and FC. FA is the same unknown as right here, so we have one and two unknowns and one and two equations. So the exercise is solved. How are we going to solve it? This equation does not work for me at the beginning. Okay, it does not that 
it does not do the job. I have to be able. Uh, let me see. I have to be able to determine an equation for me to solve the other. So bear with me. F a sine of thirty. I can solve this equation for F a. Okay, got it. So I'm going to solve this equation for F a. Let's be organized right here. I'm going to call this equation one and this equation two. So from equation two. F A is equal to F B minus F C divided by the sine of 30. I'm going to call this my equation number 3. Therefore, this means therefore in Spanish. Por lo tanto. Therefore, I can say that um, I'm going to place put equation number three within equation number one. Okay, so F A is equal to F open parentheses F B minus FC divided by the sine 30 multiplicated by the cosine of 30 minus FD and this is equal to 0 okay what I just did was to place this information right here okay right here now we have this value, we have this value, and we do not know this one. So uh, I'm going to call this equation number four. And I'm going to say solving equation four for um, FD. FD is going to be equal to at least the magnitude. So within the calculator, I'm going to write down this equation. So uh, open parentheses, FB, FB is equal to 10 kilonewtons, so 10 minus FC, which is equal to 5. Let me verify. Yep. Yeah divided by the sine of 30 multiplicated by the cosine of 30 minus I'm going to call up the uh, within the calculator as X so X and this is equal to 0 now I'm going to press shift solve Yes, I want to solve the equation for x, and this number is the uh, the first number that the calculator is going to try to for it to solve the equation. Remember that when what the calculator does, it does an iterative method in which the calculator is going to try with a with a lot of different numbers for it to solve the equation. Once the requirement, which is this equal, is met. The calculator is going to give the solution for x, which in this case is FD. Now, this number is the first attempt of the calculator. Remember, um, the calculator does an iterative method. And if I play if I know, for example, that the solution is near 100, it is close to that number, I could I could place that 100 right here. This is the point in which I place that number. Because 
this is the first number that the calculator is going to try for it to keep a solution which means that uh, the calculator is going to to take less time for it to solve okay for it to give a solution now for example 100 equal and the solution in the case of fd i'm sorry i think that i wrote that right here is equal to 8.6602 kilo newtons i don't like this d i apologize i hope you're not being confused because of my letters now um fa basically since i have the information i can solve the equation for fa so fa is equal to the same stuff that i wrote before I don't even have to use the FD information. FB, got it. Okay. FA is equal to 10 kilo newtons. And that's it, guys. This is how you can solve this exercise. Now, what was needed for me to solve it? Remember. You have to make sure that every one of the forces are being applied within an uh, an, an specific axis. If you we are if we are playing, for example, with the z axis, our three D a three D exercise, then um, you have to make sure that all the forces are being applied to either x, y, or z. Okay. In this case, it, it was pretty pretty simple for me to analyze that because F B F C uh, FB and FC are being applied vertically, which means, sorry, vertically, be, which means that are being applied the Y direction. And as well for FD, the only force uh, that I had to play with was FA by using its components. And that's it, guys. Basically, you have to make sure and to analyze very well the symbol which means the direction. Remember that when we're talking about the vector, we do care about two things, direction and magnitude. And where, when we're playing with the unit vectors, we don't care about the magnitude, only the direction, okay? And that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this is how you can solve this exercise.